School safety. Sending the kids off to school is a frightening experience, whether it is the first time walking those big double doors as a kindergartner, the first day of high school, or somewhere in between. So many worries fill the minds of a parent as they send their young ones off to school. These worries oftentimes extend far beyond the normal getting good grades and preparing for a good college worries. As a parent with a school-aged child, the worries filling your mind are numerous. We worry that our children will become the victim of a bully or that they won't be treated well by their teachers. Recent events place more burdens on the shoulders of a parent as the worry of school violence increases. Your child at school. It's hard being a kid and don't let anyone tell you differently. Each year of a child's growth puts them more in tune with the world and with more people and provides them with a sense of who they really are, all while the worry of living up to the expectations of their parents, friends, and others, peer pressure, school worries, and more mount up in their still-growing, ever-changing minds. One of the biggest worries that a child has is being liked and accepted by others. Children at school can be very mean sometimes, and it seems not to decrease with grade level. Teasing, clicks, name-calling, and other ways of poking fun at children seem to be a hard part of growing up that every child experiences, at least minimally. It's never easy to deal with. Help your child understand that teasing and poking fun is never okay. If it is hurtful, it is not okay. Helping your child understand how to respond in such a situation is especially helpful and may help avoid some of the traumas that can be left from these words that are so hurtful. A few of the things that you can suggest to your child. Your child should know that the most important thing to do when they feel they are being picked on is to inform a trusted adult, teacher, principal, etc. as soon as possible. Teach your child how to calmly walk away from the situation. Teach your child how to be confident in telling the person making fun of him or her to stop. Help your child understand how not to respond to the teasing because it can make the person teasing only want to taunt them more. Teach your child how to respond with their own joke or funny phrase which may diffuse the situation or cause the child that is teasing to back down because they see that it is not going to bother your child. By providing your child with a well-rounded home life that encourages positivity and builds self-esteem from early on is one of the ways that your child can cope with the sometimes difficult and mean children they'll go to school with. By teaching your child how to be a friend to others with self-esteem building techniques at home, the negativity of other students should be much easier to deal with. Should your child experience the teasing, name-calling, and other ill-mannered behaviors of their fellow students, be there with an open ear to listen to your child and support them. Those positive talks and encouragements from mom and dad may seem to go in one ear and out the other, but they do sink in, and your child will be thankful for your uplifting care and concern. Your support means more than anything to your child, especially at such a difficult time in their life. Here are a few additional tips to help your child deal with difficult children in school. Teach your child that it is okay to be who they are and that changing themselves is never something they should desire to do. It is okay to have certain groups of people that you like more than others. Perhaps you share more common interests with that particular group. This is acceptable, but what isn't acceptable is being mean or cruel to another person because they're not included in your specific personality group or genre. Your child should understand the differences. Your child should also understand that the actions of other children have nothing to do with them, but instead a part of growing up that some children handle differently than others. Dealing with bullies. Bullies seem to be found in every city and state and in most all schools. It seems that combating bullies is a difficult task for schools nationwide, and while they're doing everything possible to keep each and every student thriving in an educational environment, it is up to parents to help protect their children against bullies and bullying. Bullies are probably one of the biggest fears that a parent has when they send their children off to school. Bullying these days has certainly taken on a whole new level compared to long ago when it was nothing more than a few seemingly harmless names. These days, however, bullying is far more damaging, sometimes causing extreme emotional damage to the child that can last them for many years ahead. Here are a few tips that you can practice with your child to ensure that a bully doesn't cause problems during the school year or that should they find themselves the victim of the teasing and taunting, they're well aware of the right ways to address the issues. It is important that your child knows that they can talk to you about problems they're facing at school, including issues with bullies. Reinforce the fact to your child that bullying is not their fault. 
Do not hesitate to talk to the school principal concerning the issues with bullying that your child is experiencing. Perhaps it is not an issue that they are aware of until they have this information. Little changes will take place. Help your child learn how to avoid the bullying whenever possible. Help your child learn assertiveness. While fighting back is not encouraged, it is important that your child stand up for himself when being bullied. Oftentimes, bullies choose children they perceive as weaker to bully. When your child shows that he isn't weak, the bully isn't likely to continue their efforts. Watch for signs that your child is being bullied. Sometimes your child might be embarrassed and not want to talk about the problem. It is your job to intervene before the problem becomes more serious. Improving your kids and your own academic approach. Students have so many worries when attending school and it should be a time to enhance their abilities and educate the mind. In addition to the concerns above, students also want to do the very best they can in all their classes, allowing them to go on and lead a successful life after college. Being a good student may be difficult, but not impossible for those determined to succeed. If all of the concerns above weren't enough, children also want to bring home good grades, learn the material they're being taught, and go on to live a fulfilling, successful life after college. The pressures are definitely realistic for students, even as early as elementary school. Being a good student, however, isn't as difficult as some would perceive it to be. While it does take dedication and diligence, it is certainly possible for any student to exceed even their own expectations in school. This section will be spoken as if speaking to your children or child, so bear in mind that when referring to you, we'll actually be talking to the child. You can use these tidbits and approaches to helping your own kid or kids. However, we will also switch between talking to the kid and to you, so you may want to pay close attention. Learning starts early. A love of learning starts early on in life. Share as many educational learning opportunities as possible with your kids. Most anything imaginable can easily turn into a lesson for kids. Provide them with books to read, and fill their minds with positive reinforcements of the great things awaiting them when their college education and brilliant mind. Get ahead. Making the grades in 7th and 8th grade can alleviate some of the pressure that comes along with the freshman year of high school and subsequent years or may provide your child the opportunity to enroll in honors classes and excel their learning opportunity. Study hard and keep your eye on the prize and high school will be years spent without added stress and with greater opportunities. Pay attention. Perhaps the easiest way to be the best student you can be is to pay attention to teachers during classes and special educational events. When you're paying attention, taking notes, even recording lectures, you're going to do your part to fill your mind with the information necessary to get ahead during your school days. Tests are much easier when you're paying attention in class, and you'll have the opportunity to ask the teacher questions if there is information that you do not quite understand. A part of paying attention also requires that your homework be completed. Missing even one assignment can have a drastic effect on your final report card grade. When assignments are missed, it also puts you at a disadvantage because important information may also be omitted. A study area is important for children to have. The study area should provide ample space for books, papers, etc. without being cramped, as well as have a comfortable seat. There should be no distractions in the study area, including cell phones, radios, or the TV. Staying neat and organized is yet another beneficial tip to students who want to do their best in school. Organized students can find their assignments, pencils, paper, notes, etc. without worry, saving time as well as frustration. A few organizational tips. Use multicolored binders to help keep papers separated and in order. Immediately place papers into folders and never cram them into the pockets. Once per week, clean your backpack, removing any unnecessary papers, books, etc. Set standards and goals. Students excel in school when they set standards for themselves and have future goals and dreams to accomplish. Help your child develop a love for learning early on and they'll have little trouble setting high standards for themselves and their education. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.